Welcome back, Courtney is here. Today I'm flying from Bozeman, Montana to Helena, Montana. I'm flying a Beechcraft King Air 350i. I'll be flying at a flight level of 10,000. Let's go ahead and reset the view and go inside. Take off the parking brake and get started. Still playing with calibrations on my T rudder pedals. I'm trying to make my goes down going down the runway straighter. Um, I've come to the conclusion that maybe I should consider a different brand, something maybe higher quality. Haven't been very happy with these. Okay, let's go ahead and pull up. Try to level off here. Landing gear up. Trying to keep it at 10 degree climb for now. Flaps are already up. I'm taking off without flaps. Alright. Just a little bit of rudder goes a long way. That's Most that jerking. Let's go ahead and turn departure. to the right direction. there. Still not quite. Let me just do a little bit more turning, try to get this zeroed in. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and engage autopilot. Turn on the yard damper. Feet off the pedals. Okay, so we're now under Most autopilot control. Flight won't be that long, so go ahead and go outside and look around a little bit. Seems like a very interesting and diverse landscape. Trying to get my orientation right, they changed the orientation of the stick, and so let's see if this is the direction I wanted to go. Yeah, this is definitely. Interesting. I guess my co-pilot hadn't acknowledged the transmission or something. It's very pretty out here, all the different colors, so different types of earth, ground, waterways, and whatever. Okay, so the. I'm trying to trim my brain. When I push on the joystick, I am grabbing the world and turning it in the direction. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get over it that way. Okay. That's a nice shot.
Okay, I'm gonna reset the view. Just kind of loving the way the landscape looks out here. Plane kind of fits in actually. For some reason, I felt like a green livery today. out here in person sometime. I have been to Yellowstone Park. I thought about maybe a flyover tour, but I couldn't see anything that interesting from the satellite view to figure out what I would fly over. Might give that a try. caps off in the distance. I don't know if I have to wrestle with any mountains to get over to Helena. I think it might just be a quick shot. Maybe stay at this altitude until I get over them. So it's just a little bit quieter inside, although not as pretty looking. But it does make it feel like you're in an airplane. It's easier lately to make non-jerky movements on the Xbox controller. I don't think I adjusted the sensitivity, but it just feels a lot better. Okay, I feel like the barometric pressure is at the default. I don't think that's the real barometric pressure. It didn't change very much. So we're good. Okay, I definitely need to slow down. We're actually very, very close to the airport, so I need to slow down and target altitude. I'll see if I can... No, Aeropilot still wants to keep the old altitude. Maybe the vertical speed is a problem. Okay, there we go. Now we're dropping. Yeah, we're actually really close to the airport, so I'm gonna have to get this altitude down quickly. I'm going to leave the throttle down to just above the bottom. It's kind of funny, you drop it all the way to the bottom, it always warns about landing air even if you're not near the ground. Using the vertical speed control on the Logitech box to drop us. I think 
what I'll do at this point is disengage autopilot, take over, and we might need to climb a little bit to get over these mountains, but I can use that to drop my speed. It's a little hard to tell. Pilot C5, 25, 8 contact, Salt Creek Center, on 132 decimal 4. So I'll just kind of play it by ear as I go. I'd kind of rather not fly from outside, it doesn't feel like, it feels more like a video game if you do that. Going to one tree. But definitely feel like I need some more altitude. So let's nose up just in case. Turn that back into speed if we need to. Although we are going a little on the slow side now, so let's just nose down a little bit, see where we're at with this. Yeah, we're definitely getting close to these mountains. Um, I'm gonna just kind of play this by ear. Try not to get too slow. Just keep it in the 130s and above at the moment. Of course, we're continuing to drop, and so maybe I better just give it some throttle for safety. I really can't tell if we're high enough to get over these mountains. The amount of turbulence suggests that we're pretty close to the ground. If I nose down a little bit. K479, contact element approach on 119er decimal 5. Yeah, we're pretty close. I think we're going to be okay. I'm going to take a peek outside. K decimal 5, K879. Helena approach K879, 8100 feet. Okay, yeah, I think, I think we may be okay. Wow, the radio sounded awful. Kind of trying to go around these mountains here a little bit. Okay, now this is the point when what I really need to be doing is contacting the airport directly so I get my parking... Sorry, my pattern entrance. Helena Tower KA-479er is 20 miles southeast, 8,500 feet with Kilo to land. Okay, and runway we're looking okay now, as far as these mountains go. Pattern entry is ahead of us. Don't see any of the graphics showing up yet. I'm going to pull back on the throttle again because we need to drop altitude. really bumpy out here. Okay, well this feels alright. I think we'll be just fine. I don't think I want to go any lower. I feel like the pattern entrance is higher than I'm currently at. Get nose up a little bit. Try to get some altitude ahead of us. Stick 
due to all the extra lift we got out of the flaps. My goal is to get to about 140 knots and then enter the pattern. We also could use a little bit of a turn here to align with it better. fast. I'm going to pull back on the throttle now. See if we can turn these red brackets blue. Okay, I think it's time to start making my turn. going too fast, we're going to pull the throttle back just a tad more. Landing here. Okay, that's always when I bottom out the throttle, it does that. I suppose that's not a bad idea though, we do need to slow down, so gear down, hear the roar when those things go down. Okay, I've got the throttle all the way down, I'll pick it up as needed, but I do want to get the speed down. I'm going to hug the right side of the entrance to s keep the runway centered. Okay, we're actually slowing down pretty well here. Losing a lot of lift, having to pull up on the nose. We're going to start slowing down too much, but I'll wait until it tells us we're going too fast before I apply any more throttle. I think it's going to want us to go, what, 115 the whole way or something? Yep. So I'm going to give it a bit more throttle. A little on the low side, perhaps. Maybe not. Let's just nose down and see where we're going. Okay, yeah, it'd be better to keep that in sight. See what effect the descent has on our speed. some of that speed by nosing up. too fast, we're only a tad over where we need to be. I can again deal with that by nosing up a bit. I still don't think I need to apply more throttle, but I'm just keeping an eye on it. Yeah, here we are, too fast again. 
happens when I nose down to see the runway. I'm going to put down the landing flaps, bring up the throttle. and then keep an eye on the speed. back on the throttle a bit. Just want to make sure we don't go too fast. Got it all the way floored now. I might need a bit more though before we get there. So a little bit of thrust. I'll just kind of feather it I guess as needed. entrance of the runway, but I think we're going to be okay. I'm going to flare up a little bit, try to keep this a nice gentle landing. Rear wheels down, brakes, nose down, flaps up, and let's pull over. Ah, there we go. Thank you. The differential braking is really helpful in cases like this. KA four seven niner contact ground on one two one decimal niner. Okay, so we're stopped. Let's put on the parking brake. Contact ground. And taxi to parking. KA four seven niner request taxi to parking. KA-479er taxi to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway Alpha. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Alpha KA-479er. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Alpha KA-479er. Looks like a straight shot right to the parking lot, that's nice. Make sure there's nobody coming. Alright. Okay, so I'm supposed to turn there, but I see a truck in the way. What I might do is just go straight into it. Um, I know there's a dude there, but I think he'll survive. And as soon as it turns green, we are parked. There we go. Parking brake on. Let's go outside. Look around a little bit. like a beautiful area. Okay, let's shut those engines down. Maybe I would have had enough room to turn, but that truck does look like it's in the way. They should spend some t better time on the ground actions. All right, engines are off. Let's go back inside and shut off the plane. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe.
and I'll see you in the next video.